Hi friends, Dr. M. Mirao here. Today we are going to speak about intermittent fasting benefits. Benefits other than weight loss. You all know you can have a great weight loss even up to 30 kg or more with intermittent fasting. And in addition to weight loss, there are a lot of benefits which we are going to discuss now one after the other. You all know our forefathers and even the caveman because of lack of food, they used to fast a couple of days and then hunt for an animal. And when they were successful, they used to eat on that day. That means they missed meals for a day or two or even three days consecutively. So intermittent fasting has been practiced since time immemorial. All our religions, including Christians who used to fast, during Lent days, Muslims used to fast during Ramadan and Hindus and Buddhists all practice fasting on the auspicious days. In 19, 2016, a Japan scientist by name Yoshinori Osomi, he has been doing lot of research throughout his life for over more than 30 years on fasting and autophagy. How autophagy helped fasting? Autophagy starts in fasting after 12 hours or 14 hours of fasting and continues throughout fasting period. So during the autophagy, the waste organs, organelles of the cell, the waste material used to be recycled and digested by the cell. That's why it is called autophagy, self-digestion and clearing of all the waste material of the cell. Because of that cleaning process, you have benefited in many ways. Weight loss, of course, you all know. The next benefit we used to get is prevention of cancer. Cancer cells are prevented from growth by this autophagy and intermittent fasting. HGH, human growth hormone production increases and the muscle mass, the muscle mass increases in size, there is no muscle wasting and there is only fat loss in intermittent fasting. Sugar levels have come down, so diabetes can be reversed and drugs like insulin and oral hypoglycemics can be either reduced or stopped within a period of a couple of months. Blood pressure comes down and the heart health improves a lot. Thyroid, PCOD, they get corrected to in, a, in a great number of people. Longevity of life improves a lot, at least five to six years. You can live happily, healthily, and you get a lot of energy from these waste products on the cell. So you get a lot of energy even to the brain. So when brain health improves, diseases like Alzheimer's, Parkinsonism, 
and allergic disorders have come down to a great extent. It is very simple to practice time saving and also money saving to a some extent. You also feel happy with the happy chemicals released in the body, in the intestine and other organs, happy chemicals. The four happy chemicals we all know, D-O-S-E, dose. These chemicals, dopamine, oxytocin, serotonin and endorphin, all these give they lot of happiness and they uplift our mood. And then bacteria, fungus, virus and such small microbes, they get fermented and the gas formation is reduced in the gut. Inflammation in the gut is reduced if you give time, enough time for digestion. We are not giving enough time, we are eating throughout the day. Whereas our forefathers ate after the sunrise, that is around 8 am and they stopped eating before the sunset, that is around 5 to 6 pm. Even the skin folds are reduced and the skin becomes shiny. HDL cholesterol, the good cholesterol improves and the bad cholesterol LDL comes down. In a way, it helps the heart health also. Because of the rest you are giving to the gut, Immunity power increases and autoimmune disorders like psoriasis, allergic conditions, they just disappear. The fatty liver comes down and also the liver problems to some extent are corrected. The circadian rhythm that is the body clock get suggested, you get sound, wonderful sleep. But the only thing is, you got to start slow, 12 by 12 fasting, 14 by 12 after a couple of weeks, that is 14 hours of fasting and 10 hours of eating and then 16 by 8, the most ideal intermittent fasting interval, 16 hours of fasting and only 8 hours of eating. And after that, if you still want to reduce your weight, 12 by 4, uh, 20 hours of fasting and then 4 hours of eating. And then by this time, your weight is reduced by about 16 to 20 kg. If you want to still further reduce your weight, you got to go for OMAD, one meal a day, anytime. Anytime you can eat that one meal and finish within one hour and the remaining 23 hours you keep fasting. With this type of fasting, you can reduce a large amount of weight and also you feel much better. When you are eating is more important, not what you are eating and how much you are eating is not so important. The thing is, children below 18 years in a growing age, better they don't fast and also pregnant women and breastfeeding, whoever giving to the children, to the babies, 
they should not fast and some psychological eating disorders they should not fast along with fast exercise is also important don't forget to exercise at least for half an hour every day and only thing is refined carbohydrates have to be limited and then you take a moderate amount of proteins particularly lean proteins and you can have good healthy fats like you find in nuts and seeds and olive oil and things like that these are the wonderful benefits you get by intermittent fasting at least 16 by 8 intermittent fasting in addition to weight loss these are all the benefits thank you for keen listening please subscribe to my channel and press that bell button so that you will get regular messages from us thank you very much